The race is on to make and deliver ventilators to hospitals fighting coronavirus. For patients critically ill with the virus, a ventilator could save their life. So what do ventilators do? A ventilator is a mechanical machine that moves an oxygen mix into the lungs of a patient who is having difficulty doing so. They are invasive and are only used for the most severely ill. Patients have to be sedated and given a muscle relaxant as a tube is placed in the mouth and into the windpipe and then connected to a ventilator. How many do we need? The government says that NHS needs a total of 30,000 ventilators to cope with the peak of the coronavirus outbreak when hospital admissions will be at their highest and the need for life-saving equipment will be at its greatest. It's a big number to deliver in a short amount of time, but UK companies are using their engineering expertise to make them. Who's helping to make the ventilators? Major manufacturers have joined forces to build 10,000 ventilators for the NHS. They include McLaren, Ford, Rolls-Royce and Siemens. Dyson also said that it had received an order from Prime Minister Boris Johnson to build 10,000 of its own ventilators and plan to begin producing them immediately. And in less than a week, a new breathing aid for coronavirus patients has just been developed by mechanical engineers, medics and the Mercedes Formula One team. What does it do? The device, known as Continuous Positive Airway Pressure, or CPAP for short, helps increase oxygen in the lungs. The coronavirus can cause the air sacs in the lungs to collapse, so CPAP can push a steady flow of oxygen in through the mouth and nose so that the lungs remain open. The machine has been around for decades and the NHS doesn't have enough of them, so it has now been redesigned and improved for mass production. And if the clinical trial goes well, the Mercedes these F1 engineers can produce 1,000 a day. But how will it help keep coronavirus patients out of intensive care? That's the whole thing about CPAP, is we can hold patients while their lungs get better over a period of days, and hopefully we can prevent them going onto a ventilator. Again, the Italian experience would suggest we can save about 50% of people going onto ventilators by using this type of technology. Ventilators and breathing aids are vital in helping the most vulnerable patients have the best chance of surviving COVID-19. It's now a race to get the machines tested, approved, and in hospitals ready for when the NHS need them most.